Hey y'all, let's check out Evergarden Equestrian Community. All you gotta do is say Hey y'all, so this is a place that I have been wanting to check out for quite some time. If you're new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. I am shy in Second Life and on this channel we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life and I also do um, sporadic lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So y'all, this place I have told myself time and time again that I was going to check out. Um, one of the main reasons why I believe that I haven't checked it out thus far is because it is a community. And you guys know how I feel about communities. I don't really like venturing around communities because I like to give the residents their privacy. However, because this is an equestrian community, um, it is it has a lot of common spaces and so I didn't really realize that until I actually came over and like checked it out, checked it out. And I'm like, yeah, no, we, we can see this place. So this land has been around for quite some time. It is huge. It spans over, I believe, seven Sims or so. We will not be checking them all out. We will not be checking them all out. Y'all gonna have to enjoy this place. Um, partly with me, partly without me. So there are stables on both sides. We're not gonna go through all of these stables, but I really just wanted you guys to see how beautiful this place is. I am not in the shared environment. It is uh, currently 12.27 a.m. I know, I know. I love to just wait until the last minute. I don't know if it's one of those things where I feel more free to go ahead and do a video when the house is asleep. I don't know. I don't know, but it's just something about, I guess the nighttime mood just really gets me into the mode of wanting to um, do videos. So, you know, it works for me. It really, really works for me. So I'm super excited to be participating in um, Vlogtober. So for Vlogtober, we're gonna be doing and seeing a lot of different things. Look how pretty. Ooh, so Halloween-y, I love this. So we're going to be um, doing um, a lot of different things. Also, there are going to be lots of tours, of course, um, as well. I haven't really decided like everything, everything that I want to incorporate into Vlogtober. So some of it will be a surprise to both of us. I really, really love how they have um, each stall um, decorated differently. And I also like how they have names for all of the horses in the different stalls. On one of the other sides, they... Uh, on one of the other sides, my apology, they have like an award-winning horse and the space is like really, really decorated and it's so, so pretty. Like it's it's decorated even more because it's like an award-winning horse. Let me back up some. So look how pretty this is. They have all of the little awards and things like that. So it seems to me from what I have observed, when you go to the stalls, the horses that are kind of just like on the edge like this, these are the ones that get like a special place because they've like won a lot of awards and things like that. So this is a very interactive um, land. So for Blocktober, we will be doing quite a few things, quite a few things um, as far as themes go so because the month of october is both a halloween month um as well as still very much so being a fall month i love this little doggy he's like the little protector for this space um i'm gonna be incorporating fall themed lands as well as some more um halloweeny lands i'm not sure when i'm gonna make the transition but there definitely definitely will be a transition made between the fall themed lands going into the more um halloween themed lands and then like I said I also have like a lot of different things going on in between that that I do have planned out now that could change that could that could definitely change and I want to just kind of stick to one thing or like one or two different things but I did have quite a bit um, in mind for um, Blocktober and I do kind of want to incorporate the things that I've been thinking about so unlike April Diamonds, I'm coming prepared this time around. Oh, look at the little baby. Whiskey business, like risky business. I love that. I'm very much coming prepared. So I am like stockpiling, if you will, um, videos so that I don't feel overwhelmed at any point in time during Vlogmas because we're going to be what? 
proactive. That's right. Although I thoroughly enjoyed um, April Diamonds, there were many, many times where I was very overwhelmed because I did not plan out um, the content. It was one of those on the whim type things, uh, literally the day before April 1st. I was like, I wanna do something for my birthday month. I wanna do a video like every day. This was literally the day before. So throughout that month, there were only like a couple times where I actually had um, footage that was made in advance. Everything else was, some uh, most of the videos were made like that day. I love this little platter. Everything looks so yummy. So this time around for Blocktober, I did not want to do that. I wanted to have time to be able to plan things out. I didn't want to, I didn't want that overwhelming feeling again that I placed on myself because I just I I didn't do anything proactively there were many times where I could have just sat down and have done multiple videos but life was life and around that time as well so I just really wasn't able to make the proper concessions so that's why this time around I made sure that I planned in advance so this land is so pretty much like the um, last land that we visited I'll go ahead and add a card. They have lots of beautiful, um, what is this? Fall colors. <laughs> Yes, very beautiful fall colors. I don't know why I was at a loss for words. So on this um, equestrian community, in this equestrian, com equestrian community, I'm very, very tongue tied. They have a lot of little like um, courses and things like that. I've actually come to visit this place one time before and they actually like had horses out here training. It was so nice. This was a while ago. Um, it seems like every time I come to this land, it is something else that they have changed around, decorated wise and so it's always like a nice little treat to uh, be able to come here and just kind of like look at the different things that they have I love all of the little subtle touches I love that these are two different tables like the one across the way but they do have like a little bit of different things here then um, on the other table those oranges look so juicy so I really really love I love the feel of this land. It's, it's very much sophisticated. It gives a very, very upscale feeling. I absolutely love the monogram pillows. This is a theme that carries out, um, that carries throughout the land on a lot of different items. And I really, really love that. This is such a beautiful space that they have. The landscaping is top tier. I also love how they have the outside elements going on. So like you can see the horses inside the stables, but they also give them a nice freeing feeling as to where they can venture out outside of the stables if they so choose. Now I will admit this place is so nice in my opinion that I really wasn't sure if I was even going to be allowed in a lot of these places because they're decorated so nice because this is a community um, land. I always try to make sure that any notices that pop up, I'm reading all the notices just to make sure that I am abiding by their rules. Again, when I do um, come across community lands that I actually want to show you guys, I never want to be disrespectful to the residents or just the owners of the land in general because a lot of times they will open up their lands for people to come and visit just to kind of see like what they have to offer. Look how beautiful this face is yes i can't wait to look at things um and so i don't want to be disrespectful i don't want it to be like okay well we invited you guys in and said that you guys could come in but y'all going in people's houses y'all harassing people and doing all kind of things like that and so a lot of times people will spoil it for other people so i just try to make sure that i am respecting the space and the place and all the people that are here as well but um, when i came up until um this space i was like i don't even know if i'm supposed to be here because it was so freaking nice like look at this the the level of detail is wonderful it's absolutely wonderful now i know that this is a community land i am not sure if they have like a specific um space where you can have like a rental office or something like i don't know if they have things like that um 
when I panned out, I did not um, see any places available for rent. So although I know that this is a community land, I'm not sure like how you actually go about renting. If this is a land that you would like to stay on, this is something that you're definitely gonna have to check out on your own to try to figure out how you gonna go ahead and rent from here. Cause I don't know, I don't need no. So look at how pretty this is the place settings are so pretty everything has a it's like a modernized um rustic feel if you will like i love the plaids and like the wood floors i love this whole space as a whole but it's like it does have um a modern flair to it but also with like a country twang like country meets modern if you will i love how throughout this space they um have managed to add their own little um touches with their monogram um like emblem on things it's really really nice it's like pet food i, I don't know if that's dog food or what it is but it's one of those so i really really like this i love that they have a lot of different common areas and places where people can really kind of just gather and chill out and things like that i really really like it i was trying to go through the shared environments and you guys it was kind of difficult for me to find a shared environment that i actually liked so we just went with the plain old knit we went with the 12 p.m because the uh the second life midday and firestorm was it was not doing what, it, what i needed it to do it was still a little bit dark i love these lamps i love these lamps i love seeing lamps like this at um home goods in real life mm -hmm. love a good home goods lamp these little um tables like on the couches behind the couches are so pretty i love how they have the more intimate spaces on the outside where you just have two chairs and then they have like a larger common space in the middle so you can kind of pick and choose and decide i actually want to look over here um whether you want to be social or not and how social you want to be and i do like that I love how they have like this cute little quaint sitting space. Everything is so pretty here. It has such a nice, like sophisticated vibe to it. And I love that it reminds me of, um, I don't even know if, um, what is it called? when like the celebrities get together and they go look at like the horse races and things like that it's a specific name for it it's on the tip of my tongue but i, I can't i can't remember it but it's like that it has that type of feel very very ralph lauren you know what i'm saying very ralph lauren oh this is the infamous cookie tin that uh in many black households never had uh, cookies in them you know but you know we won't go into all of that if you know you know i love this sink i love this whole space the way that they planned out everything is so nice i love how they have the um this huge common area over the stables almost as if it's like okay once you get done riding your horses and things like that you can kind of come up here to de-stress a little bit before you actually like go to your home and I really, really love that. I love how all the colors are very neutral, but they have lots of different pops of blues and like little reds and burgundies to kind of bring everything together. I think that is so smart to do because it keeps everything in the space neutral, but then they also have a bit of warmness to everything. And then the blue adds a bit of um, calmness to the space. Um, almost like a cool type feel to it and i do like that so you get different pops of color and depending on where your eye hits you might get a little bit of blue as your pop of color or you might get a little bit of red as your pop of color and i really like that do you see how like they have this evergarden question do they have just like really really nice simple touches i love shelves i love bookshelves that they don't just like stockpile up with stuff like they give the space um they give the area space to breathe so it's like it's a bookshelf but you don't have to have books from end to end you can just have a couple of things on the shelf where you can still tell that it's a bookshelf and it doesn't feel overwhelming to look at these are the beautiful oranges with the fresh squeezed orange juice that we saw outside 
this is so pretty i love everything about this space look at the beautiful teas and then they have the tea like brewing with the little tea light underneath it super cute this is my type of space in real life if i came across a space like this which of course i know that they do exist i just have not come across a space like this i would be here all the time such a calm place this would be a great place to go and edit and things like that i love that they have like this up um because we know a lot of people in second life they do like clothes and things like that so it's almost like they're sitting here like meshing which again would lend itself to like editing and things like that and i really do like that that they give you a nice nice feel of like what this space could be used for if you were in a space like this in real life or even if you wanted to be in a space like this in um second life i think it's beautiful you guys know i love a good naked cake i talked about that in my cafe video i'll go ahead and put a link these naked cakes they're always like so just beautifully understated if you will i i know that i had said last time it's like perfect imperfection and I still feel that way. I really, really do. Cause they'll always be nice and symmetrical, but because it's a naked cake, it doesn't get the, um, it doesn't have the ability to be covered up, uh, to have its flaws covered up by like icing or fondant and things like that. It's just kind of like, this is what it is like a raw, the, the rawness of the cake before you add like a lot of different beautiful touches with like icing and things like that. It's like, it's already beautiful. It's already beautiful and I do like that. Almost like um, when you're natural and then you add some makeup. It's like you're already beautiful, but you know that the makeup adds that little twang to it that just makes it that even um, much more special for a lot of people. A lot of people feel that way and I get that. I always talk about how I'm like, I don't wear makeup in uh, real life of course i don't wear makeup in second life either um i have a little like nose redness but that's like for the aesthetic of my avatar and i don't know if like i always think like sometimes people will see me and they'll be like oh you know um you don't wear makeup and i'm like i it's not that i don't i don't not wear makeup because i'm like no i don't wear makeup i don't know how to put it on i don't know how to put it on if, if i knew how to put makeup on I probably will wear, I probably will wear makeup. A, you know, a part of me feels like that's what I would do. But at the same time, I love this statue. At the same time, I don't have the patience for it. I feel like you have to have a certain type of patience to sit down and do your makeup for an extended amount of time. I've never heard anyone say that they like do their makeup in less than like 30 minutes. It's always like more than that. And I I I'm not I'm not built like that. I'm not built like that at all but i take my hat off to um everyone who is built like that because you're a different type of person and i do admire that i don't have the follow-through I, I can feel myself giving up on the cause even right now and i don't even wear makeup right now i love this fireplace it's so huge they don't have the fire on right now but it's so beautiful um, I love the little sitting spaces that they have here. I also love that they have like this little ottoman where it's like it's it could be used as like a footstool, but they're using it more as like an oversized table. Is this a game? Oh, it's like a little miniature horse race. Let's see if we can get in closer on it. Oh, let me back up so I'm saying, uh, uh, you a little too close. This is nice. I like that. That is super nice. So this space is so pretty. The places that I saw, although they are just as beautiful and wonderful as the places that I've showed you thus far, the spaces that I've showed you thus far, I knew that they were spaces that I had wanted to wait to show you guys until we saw this one and I don't feel no type of way about that. I don't feel no type of way about that. You're gonna love them just like you guys love this space. Look at how pretty this umbrella is. I love how the tassels are kind of just like flowing in the wind. I love that they're like on the side so it gives it the air of movement. Really, really love it. These wicker um, couches are beautiful. 
more of the signature monogram and so you can even see like within this space so like within this space they have the the darker blues they also have the tans and a little bit of white so all the colors are very neutral and then you'll get like this brownish red where depending on what they have on these ottomans that will um, bring out the colors a little bit more so like if it was oranges then you would see a little bit more red it will it will have a little bit more of a red hue to it beautiful iced tea look how yummy this looks i love this space you have to have a certain type of eye in my opinion to be able to pull off this type of decoration i don't believe that this type of decorating can be pulled off just by anybody you really have to have an eye for this not a lot of people do a lot of people can come close a lot of people can practice and get um as good but i just feel like sometimes it's just one of those things where if, if you have it you have it and when you don't you don't so as we're looking at this we can see like the oranges with the cakes and things like that and so inside the naked cakes came off to me it's having like a more of a beigey type tone but when it's next to the oranges it does have like more of an orange type tone so i love this basket everything is so beautiful here i said i did not want this video to be super long um because i do want to show you guys all the rest of the things that they have here so say so you know what i wanted to pace myself i didn't want anything to be i don't want the video to be too too long because i wanted you guys to stay engaged and i look at the video and like don't nobody want no 30 minute video so i'll see y'all tomorrow